Hello everyone, this time especially to all of you who already downloaded Jackson Pack. I will assume you already installed it, if not please watch the installation and activation video first. In this tutorial I will show you what's master CSS file, how and when to use it. So here I have a page with the Jackson layout. And let's say you want to make some design changes to it. For instance, if you would like to change the color of this text here, you can simply hover over it using your Visual Builder, go to Module Settings and change the color. And majority of design is, is editable this way. However, there are some parts of design that you can't edit like this. You simply don't have an option in Module Settings to change it. For example, see these arrows on hover here. What if you would like to change the symbol to use something else instead of the arrow or to change the color of the arrow? For that we are going to use master CSS file. Now let me show you where you can find the master CSS file. When you go to plugins under Jackson assistant, go to settings. Here you will see a button. Click the button and Master CSS will open in a new window. Copy all the code in it and paste it in your text editor. I use Notepad++, it's a free and very rich and professional text editor you can download and I suggest you uh, using it. So uh, let's change these arrows, let's see how that's done. I loaded a services page and thing you can notice when you open this CSS is that this document is uh, really well commented. So if you want to make changes to services page you can simply look for services comment. And there we go. So you know that all CSS under this comment is related to services page and the very first comment you can notice is blurb hover icon that's exactly what we are trying to change so let's change the uh, arrow symbol to something else and also color now when you make your changes you need to paste this CSS to your page by default all this CSS is already added to your page when you install the Jackson plugin however you have to override these default values by pasting this, these changes to your page. So copy this block of CSS, you can also get rid of the lines you didn't change. Copy this block of CSS and paste it on your page. Pasting the CSS is possible in two ways. First you can paste it in page settings, clicking here and pasting it into custom CSS box and that's what, what we are going to do now. Just click save. The other way of pasting CSS is inside Divi, theme options and then again custom CSS box. The difference is when you paste it inside Divi theme options that CSS will affect the whole website and by pasting it in page settings it will affect only this particular page. Now let's update and preview our changes. And there we go, you can see that we changed the arrow into this uh, different kind of arrow and uh, made it green. So that's how you use master CSS file. That's it for this tutorial and thanks for watching.